Hey guys, it's Comrade Lewis, and I'm joined by the cutest little cutie that ever existed, Miss Winnie Page. And she wanted me to show you guys how to get a quick leg burn with very minimal equipment. You know this is gonna be a good workout because Winnie's here and I brought these really cool sweatbands, so that's almost a guarantee. Hope you guys enjoy the show. <laughs> So let's get started with some body weight squats here. As I sink down, my knees translate along the same line the toes point. You want to get 15 of these guys. <laughs> we want to get 15 body weight squats. And this is just to warm us up. We're actually going to revisit this. We're going to do a quick leg burnout. So once we get 15 of these, we're going to start jump squats. So let's call that 13, I think my count's probably a little bit off. 14 and 15. So I'm gonna shake my legs out real quick. Now we're gonna go into 15 jump squats, okay? You ready, Winnie? Here we go. Down, up, two, three, four. Again, my knees translate along the same line, my toes point. I'm squeezing my glutes at the top, my abdomen stays tight throughout the entire movement, chest big. I'm using my arms as well. We're gonna call that 15. For our next movement, we're gonna do some shoulder mobility. This is sort of an active recovery and it'll help with what's called scapular humeral rhythm. So that's how this part of your body moves in conjunction with this part of your body. So to start, we have scaptions. You're gonna do 10 of these. <sighs> I'm boring her. <laughs> Eight, nine, 10. Oh, you want attention. You want attention, okay. Oh, now we're gonna get started with the Winnie workout. You know, anytime she's around, she wants to be involved in the workout. So today, She's the centerpiece of the workout. So, I don't have much equipment here. I just have a Winnie and a box. We're gonna start with a classic. It's Winnie goblet squats. You're gonna get 10 of these. Keep my back straight, chest big. My knees will translate along the same line my toes point. I like to bribe her with lots of kisses and it seems to be working right now. And that's 10, and I need a break. Why don't you go run along? Ooh. Okay, let's get some of this hair. So the next exercise, <laughs> the next exercise is gonna be step ups. I'm gonna bring this a little closer, and we're gonna step up eight times each leg. Now when I do this, I'm driving through the heels, now you don't need a bulldog to weight you. You can just grab some basic dumbbells, a backpack, or just do a body weight. But you do want to make sure that you're driving through the heels as you do this. I'm going to switch to the other side just like this, and we're going to get another eight. <laughs> now I promise you, I did not start out this workout thinking Winnie was gonna be involved, but she kept jumping into the frame, so I decided I would just use her. And I gotta say, I'm kinda dying a little bit. Oh God, okay, I need you to take a break. So, holding your weight goblet style, we're gonna go into a side lunge. I'm gonna to move to my right side here, and with the weight centered to my right foot, 
I'm gonna send my butt back and keep my posted leg, my left leg straight. Good. So as long as she's still content, we're gonna keep using her for the workout. Let's call that four, five. You wanna get eight to 12 each side. Six, I'm keeping the weight centered to my heel, driving my butt back seven and eight. Now she's really heavy, so I'm gonna do eight. If you have a lighter weight or you go body weight, maybe bring the rep scheme a little higher, all the way up to 12. But what we do to one side, we wanna to get to the other. So here we go, going to the left side now, I'm keeping my right leg straight. My weight is back to my left heel. I'm sending my butt back, and I'm squeezing that left glute. I'm keeping my back straight and my chest broad. It would be broader, but I'm holding a bulldog. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh my God, my biceps are killing me. We don't want to rest much longer than 30 seconds because we want to keep our heart rate up. So I'm going to pick my weight back up, and the next exercise we're going to go into is a sumo squat. So with a wide base, I'm about 30% wider in a sumo squat, 20 to 30% wider in a sumo squat than I am in a normal squat. The weight is to the heels of my foot. I keep my glutes activated. And by bending my knees, I'm activating my quads. And by holding this heavy little dying star, I'm activating my biceps. Three, two, and good. So the sumo squat's a good way to target the glutes and you get the adductors of the leg. And it's important when you do the sumo squat that you keep your back straight. That's always the case. You always wanna keep a straight back. Now, we're gonna go into a back lunge. So as I do this, I wanna keep the weight centered to my left leg. And I wanna drive more through the heel of the foot than the toe of the foot. Now you don't have to keep your torso perfectly upright. You comfortable? As you do this, in fact, you want a little bit of flexion at the hip, but not too much. Let's say about 45 degrees. That's seven, we're gonna get one more and switch it. Now we'll go to the left side. Oh yeah, no oh, yeah. She likes the salty sweat. Oh my gosh, she's so heavy. Okay, one more. And that's it. And I need a breather. Oh my god. So in between sets, you don't want to take any more than about 30 seconds of rest because the, because the effect we're trying to achieve is bringing that heart rate up. And you're doing it by circuiting weights. It's called cardio strength training. And it's one of the best ways to cut weight in time for summer. Now the next move I'm gonna do, it's called a good morning. So feet are gonna go about shoulder width apart and with a broad chest, I'm gonna send my butt back. I'm very subtly bending the knees. You can see it from the side, but I'm keeping my back straight and I'm squeezing the glutes. You see that photo of you, you like it? Let's do this way so you can see the camera. Back stays straight, it's a hip hinge movement. Now, you'll feel this in the hamstrings, glutes, and abdomen. If you feel it in your quads or your lower back, that means you've centered the weight wrong, and that means you probably centered the weight on your toes, and you're arching your back.
Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. Remember, uh, Winnie and I have a lot of fun doing this and um, unless you know your dog well enough to know she's comfortable doing uh, these kind of movements, don't do it with a dog. In fact, weights are much better. This was her idea, not mine. And uh, uh, I have a soft spot for her. But seriously, don't do this and hurt a dog doing this. Uh, she wanted me to say that. Also, Winnie wanted me to tell y'all to keep a lookout for a program that I'm releasing this May called the Rad Series. That should be available for purchase, and I'll give you I'll give you the details for that shortly. Usually, when Winnie likes to come in, I'm sure she's in the scene right now. Hi, baby. Okay. Oh, she wants she wants to be involved more. <laughs> Winnie's got her little box and she's she keeps <laughs> she keeps gesturing for some high fives. Hi guys. <laughs> okay.